thank you very much uh, for uh, joining us this evening. We have a great show, and we'll just get to it right now. Uh, this is a uh, guess on my part, but I'd say my first guest has a bigger neck size than any leading man in Hollywood. His newest film is called Commando, and it's in theaters all across the country. Please welcome Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Congratulations. You have a lot of fans out there. Well, they're all here uh, because of you. Oh, thank you. You know, uh, I said congratulations because the last time we saw you, what was it, about a year ago? It was a year ago, yeah. yeah. You, you had done uh, a couple of films. That's right. We, I was here for the promotion of Terminator. Oh, you were here just yeah, before that came out. Exactly, and, yeah. and since then, look at the incredible uh, transformation. I mean, now you're yes. a, a major star in this country, aren't you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> 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 uh, but, you know, it, it really is an unbelievable story if you consider uh, your life. I mean, it's, a, it's the American dream. You, you moved to this country. I came over here as an Austrian farmer. Yeah. And uh, made it to the top. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel But really now you're succeeding. What I think find is interesting, uh, let alone the fact that you had to come to a different country, but uh, you're succeeding in another profession now. It's a, it's a very difficult in the beginning when you get into that. Uh, when I stepped out of bodybuilding, in 1975, I uh, knew the challenges that were ahead. You know, I had to work on my accent, I had to work on the acting, and I had to put as much effort into it, basically, as I did in bodybuilding sure. to be a champion in this particular Is thing. Is this and always what you wanted to do after bodybuilding? I, uh, I want, I, it wasn't clear when I was a kid what I wanted to do, but I knew that bodybuilding was a means to an end, and it would open up a lot of uh, doors mm -hmm. and opportunities. So did you ever consider secretarial work? I, I did, I did. <laughs> but uh, my typing wasn't that good. Typing was no good. <laughs> uh, but you know, the, you could still be competing as a bodybuilder, couldn't you? I could, if I would train for six months really hard, I could go back into competition, but it's uh, really not the right thing to do for me right now, because in, in acting, you want to keep your body weight down, yeah. and for the parts that I play, muscularity and shape is very important for the parts I play, but it's not important to be uh, 240 or 250 body weight right. and be a Mr. Universe or something. But, like. but aren't you the one who uh, they give credit to for actually uh, getting uh, mass attention to the, uh, the art or sport of well, bodybuilding? Yeah, I got the whole thing rolling. It was basically that, uh, you know, I did a lot of interviews and I, I promoted it, but I think the, the real credit goes to the press itself because those, uh, they were, were the ones who really did let me go yeah. on their shows and let me do the interviews and so on. So it was a, it was a collaboration of, of me and the press and then on the end people like Jane Fonda and, and or Jack Lane and other people yeah. came around and promoted bodybuilding and fitness and so on. So this was a lot of people were involved. Yeah, but I think you could take Jack Lane. I have a feeling. <laughs> Um, and then, of course, the, the, the film Pumping Iron, that was certainly a That was a, a, that was a big breakthrough, yeah, I yeah. think. Yeah, now, you, so. you mentioned you wanna, you're trying to, did you say lose your accent or what? No, no, it's just that you always have to work on it to be totally understandable yeah. out there. Well, you don't want to lose it, though, do you? No, it's not important to lose it. I think that uh, some people think it's, uh, it's attractive. Uh, other, thing, other people think it's uh, very sexy, which I don't blame them for, for saying so. <laughs> Uh, I think it has a lot of elements there that are very valuable. Plus, you, you know, it it's, you, it's uh, one of the things that people, when people hear me, they know it's yeah, Arnold. They make you. They don't even have to unique. see me. Right. Yeah, they make yeah. me unique and so on. So, it's uh, it's just one yeah. of the big pluses. Now, now, what did you weigh when you were uh, winning uh, bodybuilding titles? I used to weigh 250, 240, 250. And uh, I remember when I weighed that much and I went the first time into an agent's office and I said, I want to become an actor, can mm -hmm. you help me? The guy looked at me and he said, listen, you have a weird body, <laughs> you, you have a weird name, and you have a weird accent. He says, forget it. Yeah. Just go back to bodybuilding. And uh, anyway, the agent doesn't work there anymore. No. He's been, <laughs> he's been fired. <laughs> uh, but but uh, now what do you weigh now? I weigh now 220. Yeah, so you only yeah. really dropped like 30 pounds. Yeah, but that's a lot. It's uh, all muscle when you... Now, how do you lose 30 pounds of muscle? Well, you just go on a strict diet and you drop gradually the body weight down and you train with less weights. You know, mm -hmm. I used to do bench press with over 500 pounds and squats. The kind of training that you do right now, basically, you know. <laughs> a, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't believe... Well, I couldn't you, believe Arnold. the way you broke this jacket. Thank you very I mean, much. That was, that was too much. You, your wings. Did you see those wings he has? Yeah. The wings are in bodybuilding are latissimos. You know, just, it's incredible. I, uh, thank you. Thank you very much.
I, I just want to say, in all honesty, during rehearsal, I blacked out trying it. So, <laughs> uh, uh, we're going to do a commercial. We'll be right back here. We'll be back, folks. We have plenty more to talk about. When, uh, when, when you were uh, competing, the guys you competed with, Franco Colombo, Lou Franco Ferrigno, Colombo, yeah. Lou Ferrigno, were people exactly. using steroids in those days? Oh, sure. Uh, some used them, some didn't use yeah. them. I mean, it's very hard always to detect. It's it just uh, uh, recently that they started coming in with tests, you know, before competitions like other sports. Now, what, what do they do exactly? Well, no one really knows exactly. You know, some people think it's a mental thing that psychologically you feel like you're gaining muscular uh -huh. size and strength. Other people think that uh, it actually, in fact, does put on muscle size for a uh, short period of time. But uh, the, the idea of it is, is, is really bad because it's a drug and uh, we want to, as the sport itself says, bodybuilding, we want to build the body, we want to build the health yeah. and not destroy it. And sure. that's what drugs do. So now there are strict guidelines and they try to really get rid of the drugs in the sport. Did you ever use them yourself? Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> and did, did you yeah. feel, that, obviously you felt that they were providing you with results? At a certain time, I mean, I felt the, the years that I haven't taken it and the, some competitions that I have taken it almost was the same thing so I really didn't feel that yeah. it uh, does anything uh, for the body it was more a psychological thing but uh, you've been on for two months yourself so what do you feel <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so, so what you're saying is the the positive effect may be psychological, it's psychological but, but the yeah. negative effect is certainly not psychological it, it, no it's, it's uh, debilitating it, it can be uh, harmful to the body especially yeah. like in any drugs if you're uh, you know taking excessive amount and so but uh, they're trying to get rid of it completely yeah, yeah. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about your uh, recent engagement and your upcoming marriage mm -hmm. how soon are you getting married I'm getting married on April 26th oh so and, we got a ways uh, to go in oh yeah so yeah. yeah I hope you cover it I mean I want uh, yeah. everyone to be there. oh yeah we'll be there don't you worry Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not we've already got that it. on our calendar I believe it, I believe uh, it now is. you tell people who you're uh, engaged to I think this is a real interesting story uh, for a couple of reasons uh, which are <laughs> well, no, tell, 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 tell them who you're who No, you're it's uh, Maria Shriver. Maria Shriver uh, of the, the, the CBS Morning News. CBS Morning News. And also uh, one of the most famous families in, in America. Absolutely, yes. Uh, she's sitting out there in a green room, and I told her to come out here with me. And uh, <laughs> so she... Uh, just, go ahead and, just go ahead and say hello to her. Thank you, my dear. No, oh, Maria, come here, come here. Hey, no, come on, come here. No, come here. Come here, just come here. What is it? What is it? What? She, she says she's fed up with Arnold. <laughs> no, come here, just say hello, just say hello. No, I'm I, no, you shouldn't be embarrassed. You've known Arnold for a No, come here, just just say hello. Hi, Hi how are you? Nice <laughs> to see you. Here she is, right here. CBS Morning News. How's Forrest there? Uh, uh, Forrest. Uh, he was terrific on F Troop, by the way. Oh, that's the wrong guy, isn't it? Wrong guy. <laughs> nice yeah. to see you. You're great on the Tonight you, you, Show. You, thank you. You don't want to come in here? No, I don't. Okay. All right. You go right ahead. All right. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Well, they're steamed now. <laughs> I'm going back to my. Well, good luck on your upcoming marriage. Okay. April 26th. Go ahead. You know we're covering that. You are. Oh yeah, we'll be there. <laughs> Where's Arnold? <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Oh, Arnold. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I thought he's tough. He's a. Uh, we got to do the way after the show. Have to show this clip. She's a, she's a lovely woman. She's wonderful. She's the best thing that ever happened in my life. Now, what, how does the, the the rest of the Kennedy family feel about you? Not that you aren't a great guy, but. <laughs> I mean, how does you know what it's I mean? It's the best thing that ever happened to the family. <laughs> Uh, we, we want to take a look uh, at a few minutes of uh, Commando. Great, yeah, let's see. Yes, yeah, right. not a, not a few minutes, a few seconds. You said no. Let's wait a few minutes. No, no, we're only yes. a couple of seconds. Listen, we want now, to is this, is this a, a violent film? Uh, well, it is an action-packed film. Action you know, it has uh, it, it has it has some okay. uh, violence in there. All right, so do you need to explain you... anything here? Or is it just all gunfire? Well, I'm just I'm just <laughs> I'm just trying to I'm just trying to. Uh, 
one thing is important here is that the people know about the scene. I'm trying to tell a man that have, has double-crossed me that I lied okay. to him. Right. So please, let's right. do that. Arnold Schwarzenegger, a scene from Commando. Listen, loyalty is very touching, but it is not the most important thing in your life right now. But what is important is gravity. I have to remind you, Sally, this is my week off. Ah, you can't kill me, Matrix. Oh. Remember, Sally, when I promised to kill you last? That's right, Matrix. You did. I lied. So now you don't have a car. What'd you do with Sally? I let him go. <laughs> you let him go. Yes. Oh, this looks like it's a lot of fun. I tell you, the movie was a lot of fun to make. It's a lot of fun to watch. And I'm very happy that it is uh, the second week in a row, number one in the box office. Is that right? So I think it's a really one of those popular movies, action, adventure, fun, good acting in it, uh, simply because of <laughs> me, you know? And uh, so it's, it's going to go through the roof. You those, know? those steroids, by the way, apparently don't affect your ego, do they? Oh. <laughs> It helps. <laughs> it helps. Uh, geez, well, I'm really, I'm, this is exciting that all of this is, uh, has happened for you. you must, this must be the best part of your life right now, huh? My life has been fantastic ever since I got to America. Yeah. Really, mm -hmm. I'm really happy that I've come here because all of the things that have happened in my career would not have happened if I wouldn't have come to this country. Well, we're happy to have you. Thank you very much. Good luck to you. Nice to see you again. Good luck with your marriage. Uh, we'll be back after station identification, folks.